God bless you. Welcome to the show. This is my Bible. I am what it says that I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught the word of God. I boldly declare I will never be the same in Jesus' name. God bless you. Today, I'm talking about the difference one person can make. It doesn't matter how old you are, if you're a young person or if you're an old person, there's something you can, that, that you can still do even at your age to make a difference in the world. Um, there's all kinds of examples of just one person making a major difference. Like this week, Martin Luther King. Look at the difference that one person did by changing the world and making equal rights for black people around the world and stuff like that. Look at the difference he's made in, uh, in the world. And that was just one person. Um, another one, I want to tell you another story. Um, another person, let's talk about David and Goliath for a minute. Um, David, he was, you know, he was part of, part of one of the armies. And then I think it was the Philistines, um, the Philistines versus, I forget what the other one is off the top of my head, but anyway, there was one of the, the enemies were coming against each other. And they were saying, the enemy was saying, bring someone up against me. And so Goli uh, Goliath was kind of like making fun of them. And he was so much bigger. And he was more or less kind of like a giant. He had full body armor on. He had all kinds of weapons and things like that. And David was just a shepherd. He was just a shepherd uh, that had a lot of sheep to take care of. And he left his sheep, had someone watch his sheep for him while he left. And then... Um, Basically, he went down to uh, talk about fighting Goliath. And basically, he said, who is this? Who is this guy that shall defy the armies of the living God? So if you're on team good guy, that means you're on the team of the living God. And God has your back. So that's cool. Um, God loves everybody out there. I don't care who you are. He loves you very much. Um, another person I want to talk about. Um, at seven years old, at seven years old, Riley, she was diagnosed with aggressive giant cell granuloma, uh, a rare cancer, a rare cancerous disease. And, uh, that was causing a tumor on her face and, uh, her mom didn't know what to do. Uh, they didn't know what to do. It was really causing her a lot of problems. It was causing her seizures and stomach pain. Um, she had a big tumor on her face. And her mom didn't know what to do. So her mom ended up using cannabis oil to treat her with it, gave her cannabis oil, and it able, was able to shrink the tumor in her face. Um, she said her stomach would cramp up. She'd hallucinate. She'd have seizures. Um, her mom gave her the medical marijuana to heal it. The tumor shrunk. The seizures, they stopped with the marijuana treatment, the, the uh, cannabis oil treatment. The seizures stopped, and there's been no occurrence in five years. And she feels so much better. Her bones are growing back to normal in her face. The tumor's been shrunk with the cannabis oil. And uh, her teeth are back to normal. She didn't lose any teeth. Um, so what Riley did was she realized what I'm trying to tell you, you today is that one person can make a difference in this life. Riley decided to go to her local legislature in Delaware. And she actually made O'Reilly's Law, which makes it legal for young children to take medical marijuana medication for things like tumors and seizures. And another part of the law made it legal for um, young kids in Delaware to use medical marijuana at school. So look at the difference Riley made. That's just one person. She's changed the life of every young person in Delaware that might have tumors in their, in their face, might have seizures going on. Now they can use the medical marijuana to treat that. So that's just two examples, guys, of two people. Uh, David just totally, totally... Um, 
took Goliath right out with one stone, right? He had picked five stones up off the ground and he just used his sling and he just slung at the Goliath and got Goliath. And that was the end of it. He ended up bringing his head back to, back to Saul to brag about it. Um, he said, you come at me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come at you with the God of is as the, of, from the God of Israel. And, uh, uh, David said, I'll feed your carcass to the birds today, Goliath. So the confidence, you have to be confident in life, right? If you're going to achieve your, achieve your goals. And David was being confident. He knew his school, his skill set with his slingshot. He knew he could do it. He believed in himself. Uh, he struck him and he fell to the earth and David prevailed with a sling and a stone. David cut off his head with his own sword. David cut off Goliath's head with Goliath's sword, which is pretty cool. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to go after your, you're going to go after your life goals and you're just going to go after them like a fighter and go after them and you're going to achieve your goals. And you're going to be everything that God intended you to be, I declare in Jesus' name. Amen.